Well, howdy, boys. I'm digging through this pickup here and trying to figure out some stuff. Figure I don't get to see this pickup much, and you guys um, no, this is not my favorite pickup, one of my least favorite pickups. It's a dually, so I figured some of you guys that are running dualies and cabin chassis, we got Dave with us here today. Just in case you're wondering, who is following Paul today? <laughs> well, his boots. Uh, so some of you guys, you know, on a, on a point of this video, some of you guys that are curious about the dualies, you know, you'd be interested in this video. What I'm dealing with, truck's about 10% down on power. Well, I'll rewind the tape. Let me tell you exactly what, what this truck is. It's a 16 cabin chassis, 3,500, with 410 rear ends and about 300,000 on the clock. Well, here's the kicker. Stock actuator, I mean, on the cabin chassis, or excuse me, on the Deweys, they go a little sooner, but expect them to go anywhere from 150 to 300,000. And in a cra crazy case scenario, like I had the other day, well, the other week, is 400,000. That's very rare. This truck is working its third actuator out, is what my conclusion is. And here, what the issue is this truck is 10% down on power. Um, it's it's not surging, it's not like dead, but on top end, it just doesn't boost like it's supposed to. It's a cabin chassis from the factory, they're a little down on power, and I know that. I mean, not, they're not down power, they're just tuned that way, they're a little detuned but there's there's definitely 10 percent missing you know you could say fuel filters and intake filter yeah we'll definitely check that but um the telltale sign for an actuator is xl and d cell according to the uh, as far as the turbo goes is affected like in my case my d cell my exhaust brake just feels a little on the weaker side you know any way you spin it just doesn't have that strong exhaust brake so most likely this actuator is going out again god bless the guy that hit this truck and ran well according to the driver and he was a fairly honest guy so hit it as you could tell thank god it was in the cab it was just a step and just took off this truck's filthy needs a wash but nevertheless boys that's all that i could talk about this truck i mean there's just nothing else i complain about it's working on its third actuator most likely that's what we're going to swap out after the filters um i much rather do it here than have it done on the road you know quite frankly you pull this truck into a shop they, they'll be looking at you like you're dumb you know check engine lights things not smoking burping it ain't doing anything on but a guy that knows the the power that the truck should have could tell like myself it's about 10 percent down on power and that's that's the reason why this truck is back it was pretty much brought back from mid-america drivers started complaining low on power so of course the rookie over exaggerated because he went from my fastest truck to my slowest truck and anyways god bless you by the way billy um no complaints but it you know it's different guys if you get in a cabin chassis they're detuned be patient it's it's not quite a semi but it's it's leaning towards a semi as far as it's tuning it, it it's there to battle the hills it's it's there to fight the hills and pull you through the hills but it's not a rocket you more or less like the regular pickups are regular pickups are more you know tuned for hot rodding uh, if, if that's properly stated or not but it's headed that way i don't know how to describe it to an average joe so he can understand me more peppy much slower you'll climb the hills about the same i'm talking regular pickup to this i've done videos i've climbed climbed the same exact hill with this truck compared to my fast truck or my powerful truck and do the difference with minimal you know when you just drive these trucks feels like this is a, a turtle and that's you know some cheetah truck my truck seven for, this is for my regulars but no like these four tens slow and steady tuning and it's 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 very good it's good climbing just slow the heck down i guess i'm gonna have to spend a little bit of time with my driver and explain to him the whole shebang but nitpicking at it it's about 10 percent down on power and yes i didn't just take it around the block i just took it for about 10 mile drive pulled some hills with it and I, I could see what he's talking about but it's nothing compared to what he described it he said the truck's dead it can barely move its own weight no it's slower but it could definitely pull hills and you know pull its own just a little slower anyways boys um i wish i could tell you some s crazy story that this thing's pile of junk or how awesome this thing is i really can't for my regulars you know this is my least favorite truck um and for the guys that are out there looking at cabin chassis should you should you not buy them short and sweet if you are in a specific market and you need to outfit your truck 
some, you know, certain beds, you know, utility beds, go with the cabin chassis and for the local guys. You know, these seats are awesome for a local in and out all day. They don't wear out. And the vinyl floor is just phenomenal. For the cozy factor, like when you're taking a long trip, you usually want to put your sweats on and get comfortable. Well, that that vinyl flooring and that vinyl uh, seat just doesn't provide the comfort level as carpet, wood, and cloth. That's about it, boys. That's all I can tell you. Keeping them very short and sweet for y'all. All right. Nothing crazy. Um, you know, I'm going to include it in this video. Keep, guys, keep dogging on the Dodges and the Rams and the front ends. Yeah, that has a time and place, I would say, probably from 94 to probably 2012. They're more or less the same front end, just a little bit reworked ear brackets for your stabilizer or your sway bar, sorry. Um, yeah, those front ends suck. For you guys that are curious and dogging on this, I'm not here to Ram doesn't pay me jack for advertising for them. Original front end. This front end has seen nothing. No sway bars, no shocks, no springs, no ball joints, no gear boxes, nothing, okay? This is all original front end. Well, soon it's going to get modified. It's going to get a new liner and uh, whatever's going on here and getting that fixed. we got to work on it get in the shop, but... Uh, for you guys, you know, about to fall off your chair and say I'm full of it. No, dude, this is the truth. Most of my pickups, most of my pickups, see a set of ball joints every 300,000. So since I've said this, I should probably next time when they pull it in to do the filters, I should probably tell them, tell them to check the front end ball joints. So for you guys, you know, super excited to say it's a pile of junk and, uh, your front end is probably on your third set of ball joints. No, but it might be on a second set here. As I said, about 300,000, that's when we're seeing the front end ball joints needing replacing. Some are more up towards 400, but for the most part, every 300,000, and that is it. No sway bars, no control arms, no track bars, no gear boxes. That's all we've done so far. All righty, boys. Just, just saying that for those haters that are out there you know always saying oh i bet you everything else is falling apart you know it's nowadays chevy ford or ram it's all about comfort and uh as far as you know cap goes it's all about comfort really they all hold up decent some are better for certain areas than others but there's nothing like night and day difference on you know the way they hold up maybe the old well not maybe i know the old you know dashboards didn't hold up they would all crack up and go to crap guys this is all oem these are oem seats had some hefty there's a driver i had in here it had some weight to them. I mean, the seat survived these door panels are original you could tell it has mileage you know what i mean door or the excuse me the dash is all in one piece you know just i wish ram paid me for all the advertisement i do for him but just it is what it is and it is how it is you know this is all oem like i said possibly in ball joints because every 300,000, most of my pickups, three to 400,000, get a set of ball joints, uppers and lowers. And the lowers don't need replacing, but we're in there, so we just do a set. And we go OEM stuff from the dealership. Anyways, boys, it's starting to rain. I'm out of here. As always, may the Lord bless you. And may y'all have, have a mighty fine day. Ciao. Bye.